Inflation top of mind for investors as the Fed continues to raise rates. But that said, are there signs that things could be slowing down here? Our senior economics reporter, Steve Wiesman, has more. Hi, Steve. Good morning, Morgan. Some new data we have suggests tomorrow's inflation report from the government could be soft with a possible negative headline number, and it would join other private sector data we've been following and suggesting some easing in inflation. The State Street Price Stats Inflation Index, it's called from prices on the web, falling 0.3% month to month for one of its biggest drops since the pandemic. Not surprisingly, it was driven by a sharp decline in fuel prices, along with apparel as well. Other sectors like food, they look like they were bouncing back towards the end of the month from a soft November. But the monthly decline pushing the year-over-year rate down to 3.9% from a high of about 6% in the summer. It's been running below the CPI, you can see there year-over-year, but generally tracks in the direction of it. No guarantee, of course, the CPI tomorrow will follow this data. But it's not the only inflation indicator trending down. We've been looking at these uh, Price indices inside a bunch of the survey data, the ISM price, services price indices down 17 points from its peak in April 2022. ISM manufacturing price index down 53 points. And the NFIB uh, percentage of uh, respondents who are raising prices down 30 points from the peak in November 2021. Falling inflation data could explain why the market isn't following the Fed. Barry Knapp from Ironside Macro says... It's because Fed Chair Jay Powell's case, the one that says rates need to rise because of rising inflation and core services, Knapp says that is falling apart. He sent me this data, the measure on how, which Powell focuses on, looked at on a three-month annualized basis. It's fallen every month since peaking in June at 12% and now stands at just 3.17%. The result is the market pushes rates lower because it has to believe at this point the Fed's done enough and inflation is easing. Fed officials, they kind of acknowledge the progress, but they've stuck to their hawkish comments about higher for longer when it comes to the outlook for rates. Morgan?